Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Marissa, also known as Riss Beauty. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to never miss a video posted by me. So today's video is just going to be super easy. It is going to be my everyday makeup routine. So this is how I wear my makeup going to class or running errands, something that I'm not like getting ready for, like a big event or a party or a birthday or whatever the case might be this is just like my everyday makeup so it's not going to be like you know full on glam it's going to be simple and easy and I do have some affordable products and I do have some high end that I do use so there's a mixture in there for you guys and yeah if you want to see my everyday makeup routine then just keep on watching <laughs> start by prepping the skin with my hangover 3-in-1 replenishing primer primer and setting spray this really gets your face wet so I kind of just like to put it up in the air and let it just fall on my face sometimes it like gets my hair all wet and it's just a mess now that we prep the skin with a priming water I'm gonna go in with an actual like lotion primer this is the Glossier or Glossier priming moisturizer and I love this stuff it definitely can be a moisturizer and it also can definitely be a primer and it just really does moisturize my skin because in the winter time I'm really really dry but this is also good for the summertime to give your face an extra little boost of glowiness, basically. You can see it kind of just, you know, gave me a really nice glow and moisturized my skin. So now, just to go right in, like, the T-zone, because I have, like, big pores going on right now, I'm going to use the Pore Professional by Benefit. It's just, like, a mini version. Mini version's actually not that expensive, and I'd say this little mini thing's like 12 bucks, which for this mini thing, like, that's expensive, but it's better than the big one, and you get a lot of product. And if you're like me and only apply it to the T-zone, it's, uh, it's and like, kind of like blemishes and stuff, it's going to last you a really long time, so you don't really need the, like, really, really big one. So now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and... Now my hands are all like greasy. And I'm going to basically use this as like a foundation because my everyday makeup I don't usually wear foundation. But I will mix a little bit of my It Cosmetics CC Cream. I've been trying this out lately. Oh my god. I don't even want to use another foundation. Like this is a CC Cream but it's so like full coverage but thin. It's like a thin um, formula which I like. Because if you watch my videos, you know I hardly ever wear foundation because I don't like thickness. Like, I don't like the feeling of thickness. This is great if you're looking for, like, a foundation that's thin but gives a good coverage. Love this CC cream. And so I'm going to apply this into the areas that I need a little bit more coverage. That the sharp, the sharp, the sharp tape, the sharp tape, the, that the Tarte Shape Tape doesn't give me. Which is, is a pretty full coverage, so yeah, so I kind of just, a little goes a long way, for sure. So I kind of just mark, like, the spots. You know, I kind of just apply it like foundation. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and blend it all out. So that definitely covered up a lot more than I was expecting it to. And it kind of just, you know, evened your skin tone a bit. So that's why I just used the concealer. But I do have some spots, like right here, redness kind of peeks through, which I kind of like that. But I'm just going to apply a little bit. And I'm in the shade light. And I'm just going to dab like a tiny bit right on my beauty blender, like literally a dot. 
and I just love because this goes a long way too I just apply it to where I need a little bit more coverage and then I go and blend it out and I love this CC cream because it also gives you like a luminous finish to it it's not matte or anything and what's what's great about it is it has 50 D or SPF 50 which I need with the acne cream medication stuff that my doctor prescribed me so it's really helpful when it has the last PF in it so I just covered up a little bit of like the redness I had going on that's done yay I'm quickly going to set my under eye and then I'm going to move on to liquid highlighter because I love using this in my everyday routine. But for right now, I'm going to set the under eye so it doesn't crease. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is my holy grail. Which I need to buy a new one because it's like broken right there. So, yeah. And I'm running out. But this stuff lasts you so long. I think I got it my junior year and I'm a freshman in college now. And it's lasting me, and I'm running real low, so I need to get more. I'm just going to be taking this Morphe M510 brush. This is a highlighting brush, which I'm going to use in the future. But I've been loving this to set my under eye because it's really precise and small. It really gets the job done, especially because I don't want to set right up here because that's where the liquid highlight will go. So I kind of just focus it right where my eye ends. And I like to do my nose just a tad bit. Definitely where I have my problem areas and where I set that CC cream we're extra covered because we don't want any of that peeking through and then of course the chin and that's all I do to set I don't set my entire face because I don't it's I don't really need to because it's just concealer is that better lighting for you guys I don't know I'm sorry if it's smoked okay so now let's move on to liquid highlight and I love using this elf I think it's like their beautifully bare line the Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter, I used this in my e.l.f. video when I did a whole tutorial with one brand. And I fell in love with this. This is amazing. So I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to dab a little bit and apply it onto my cheeks and the tip of my nose. This is so subtle and like just gives you such a gorgeous finish. Do you see that? It really makes you glow. And it's not shimmery or anything. It just gives that nice radiant glow. Basically that like you're glowing with like from within and like from your actual skin. And I, that's why I really like it. So now that all of the liquid products are done we're going to move on to powders and eyeshadow and stuff so i'm going to move on to eyeshadow okay so for the eyes what i have been loving lately is just using one eyeshadow and it's this ColourPop, the k-pop i think it was a collab collab um it's sunset boulevard it's a super shock shadow and i love ColourPop. they have some really good stuff really good formula so it just looks like that it's a really nice bronzy glowy kind of eyeshadow shade but it's not like too intense unless you make it intense so since we have a nice base already for the shadow i'm just going to use my finger because i feel like it applies a little better with my finger and all i do is apply this all over the lid
once I like have a good base, then I will go in with like a flat defining brush. This one's the Morphe M124. And I will rub my brush in it. And then just pack that onto any spots that look like it could like be missing. Because sometimes when you apply with your finger, it's sometimes patchy. So now that we just have like that nice bronzy look, we can move on. I'm just going to take my bronzer that I am going to be using to bronze my face. And I'm going to apply that right into the crease. So basically we're using two shadows, but this is a bronzer, so it's not really nice shadow. But I'm going to use my Holy Grail um, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This one is just like the light bronzer, the original one, because I know that they came out with another one. And for this, if I can find my brush, I'm going to take the Morphe M433 brush and dip into that bronzer shade and lightly apply this to the crease just so we have a little bit of definition in there. And then what I do is I just run that on the waterline. Just really lightly. See, I don't know how all these other YouTubers can go in their waterline and, like, go back and forth. My eye starts to water. I have such sensitive eyes. So, I just lightly applied it to the bottom lash line. So, now let's move on to the face and we'll finish up the eyes after. So, I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer. And I'm going to first contour. And I'm going to use the Kat Von D do a brush just to contour just a little bit Next, I'm going to be take I'm going to take my Nicole Miller powder brush. This is so soft. I love this brush. And I'm just going to bronze up the cheeks with that same bronzer. <laughs> was overheating so I went ahead and just did my brows it's the same as usual I just use my Anastasia brow whiz and I just fill them in fill them in how I normally would that doesn't change so after I'm done bronzing up the skin a bit I'm gonna go into my physician formula happy booster blush in oh, well in rose and I love this blush it's amazing it really gives you a healthy glow I love it so I'm going to take this It Cosmetics brush. This one is the number 227 Flawless Blush. And I just apply it to the apples of my cheeks and swoop it up. And lastly, I am going to apply a tiny bit of highlighter. Not too, too much, but I'm going to use my Anastasia Glow Kit. And oh, and going in. I don't know if I'm gonna use that Morphe brush, just cause, just cause. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. I always use this, and I want something really subtle. I'm going with Starburst right here. It's like the lightest shade next to Marshmallow. But I don't want something too, too white. I want this like nice pinky champagne color. And I'm going to lightly just highlight. I hardly, ooh, look at that. Ooh, 
I hardly like dipped my brush. I like tapped it a few times and that was it. So just lightly apply that. Oh, that's so pretty. And then apply it to the tip of the nose. Just everywhere where we put that liquid highlight because we want to just set it a bit. And that's it for the highlight. Oh, that's so pretty. And then just if you want to go a little extra it's up here. Sometimes I'll be extra. For lashes, I'm just going to curl them real quick and apply mascara. And I'm going to be using the Luminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And yeah, just like this. And lastly, to top off my everyday makeup routine, I go in with my Holy Grail Gloss, the Bare Minerals in Forbidden. And I love this. It's like the perfect nude. If I can open it. Perfect nude. It's the best formula. It's not sticky. It's so moisturizing. It's so comfortable on the lips. I love it. And it just blends in with my lips. I love it. And that completes my everyday makeup look. So far.